Okay, ladies and gentlemen, for those with the fixtures, just to go through them again, Rockwell College will play St. Bunchen's College, Glenstall Abbey School will play St. Clement's College, Christian Brothers College will play Crescent College Comprehensive, Orskull Rees will play Presentation Brothers College, and Bandon Grammar School will play Castle Troy College. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to it now indeed. It's the weekend of the 16th of, of January. They're all kicking off double headers. Um, Rockwell are at home to St. Munchens. That'll be another great tie. Um, CBC have actually brought Crescent back to Cork. They'll be delighted with that. Has it been very different for the last few years? Um, Bandon Grammar, who are now recently coming to A school, are playing Castlereagh College at home. So it's very hard to pick a few winners out of there. I'd say Standout, possibly CBC, maybe, and Prez. We'll be looking at that after that. Who knows where it's going to go? We're having the double header system again this year with the senior and junior cups. It really adds a bit to the competitions. And you know, originally when that was first produced as an idea, people were sceptical of it, but it actually worked so well last year. We carried on again this year. Um, it opens it up, and also the introduction of an open draw after every round really helps with the excitement and the build up of the competition. So once the round is over, again, it's an open draw again, gets the press involved, gets family involved, everyone's excited to see where they are. So it's really good, yeah. The competition's really stepped up. We have to be thankful to the branch for opening up the big grounds like IEP and, and Tolman Park for us. Um, and the sport is getting bored every year. Um, so it's a very exciting time. But particularly if you look at the last year's final, and we're hoping that and the rugby has changed the way schools rugby. Traditionally, the pick and go rugby would have been destroyed, but not if you watched the final last year. Both senior and junior, the rugby was just excellent from all sides involved. So look forward to more of the same again this year. It's uh, very exciting, actually. Um, and I suppose from a development perspective, we're delighted because we've, uh, unlike last year, we're all five double headers we're on in Limerick. We've actually got a lovely geographical spread within the province to make it easy for people to go and watch schools matches. So we'll have two in Limerick and we'll have two in Cork. And we'll also have one in Clan William and Tipperary. There's no clear cut winner this year or favourite, should I say. And uh, I think that's always good when you have a, a schools competition where you don't know who's going to win and uh, makes it all the better for the tournament.